one of the, the most serious enemies of Jamaican people and black people in general is religion. Religion has devastated the minds of African people in an illusion. And everyone come and keep doing the same thing, the same way, and expect to get a different result. We see that a lot of people have used religion to free themselves. But as a collective people, as a force to be reckoned with, Europeans use religion to pacify any form of religion, any form of re rebellion or revolution that takes place in the colonies that is called the British colonies. Religion has been perpetuated against people where they have used religion to validate slavery and also use the Bible to validate their wicked and cruel intentions. And black people sit down every Sunday praying, hoping that there's a man that is going to come out of the sky to save them from this terrible capitalist, cruel regime. We are saying again, black people, how long, how long will we sit in churches made of wood and stone and those hypocritical persons that is taking your money every day saying it's tights? How long are we going to sit and be so passive and gulp all of these things and believe that we are the sinners and they are next to God. Because when we perceive God, no care how you're conscious, if you shut your eye and close your eye and think on Jesus, most of the time it's a white man, you see. Oh, we still have that image in our head. Because we were not interested enough to search history. What brought us here and why we are still here and why most black people is suffering and is crying out every day. And any time you think them to them, say, boy, it's only God alone can help you. And God can save you. It's only you can save yourself. Only you can save yourself. There's no God in the sky that is going to come down and help you or me. We have to formulate and come together as a people and see what we can do to calculate our freedom and liberation. Because right now, that's all we have to talk about. Freedom and liberation. Because if one man is free, because you have people say, well, slavery gone a long time and see them have a job and everything. Like Look here. If one man is free and the others are not free, no man can really say that he's free. Because the freedom of one is dependent on the freedom of all. And what our ancestors fought for, like Marcus Garvey, Kwame Nkrumah, Jomo Kenyatta and all the people that might come for is the liberation of African people no matter where them is. And we must take up that mantle because freedom don't come yet. We may can have certain things now and privilege to do certain things now. But the majority of African people still find themselves in the walla and the squalor where our ancestors were when they run off of the plantation and things set them free. And we have to quote a woman by the name of Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman said, I freed many slaves, but I could have freed more if only they knew they were slaves. Serious thing. She could have freed many slaves, but she could have freed many more if only they were knew where they were slaves. And we as African people find ourselves in that quagmire. That we are both a slave, coat and tie slave, jacket and tie slave, hollering Jesus, the blood of Jesus slave, and feel say the blood of Jesus is going to help us. No blood of Jesus is not going to help us. Those things is joke, slogans that is put there to crack, grab us and catch us. We, African people, have to look to ourselves. And we must be able to do wrong things sometimes. But then the wrong thing is we must correct it. We can't allow people to decide our destiny. Every man has to decide his own destiny. I agree.
Well, let me hear you say, man. 